Hey y'all, it's Kaizy. On this channel, I try to learn a skill as quickly as possible. And for this month, I am doing tennis. I played tennis when I was in elementary school for a couple summers. Granted, it was 15 years ago and I don't remember anything from it, but I have at least held a racket before. I'm actually super excited for this challenge because a lot of y'all might not know, but I grew up playing a lot of sports when I was younger. Most of my videos so far have been creativity or music skills related, which I also really like, but those skills just tend to be easier to do at home when there is a global pandemic. However, tennis is a great outdoors and social distance sport. So I think this is a really good challenge for me for the next month. Like always, the goal for this month is to improve as much as possible from day one to day 30. We'll see how I do. Lego. Day one. Not good at all. Felt like my form and my footwork was all over the place. I couldn't get a good sense at all of where to hit the ball with my racket. I kept hitting the ball in that triangle thing part of the racket. Yes, as you can see here, I was getting some shots over the net, but even for those that did go over, I didn't feel like I had any control whatsoever where the ball was going. Either they were too short and getting caught in the net, or I was going for a home run. Don't even get me started on stairs. I didn't know, I have no idea what I was doing. This day was definitely like 10% playing tennis and then 90% running around trying to pick up balls. For a skill like this, the first thing I need to do is focus on my form. I reached out to a local tennis coach to help me out with my game. In this first lesson, I was taught how to properly hold the racket and how to utilize my feet. You'll probably notice that unlike other skills that I've learned on this channel, I found a coach right away, right off the bat on day two. For kinetic skills like tennis, I like to find a coach right away and work on technique. The reasoning behind this is because there's really no point in wasting a single day on technique that I know is wrong. And for a kinetic skill like tennis, having somebody in person is kind of the best way to learn how to do proper technique. My head was literally exploding because I was getting bombarded with information during this entire lesson, but you probably noticed I love learning and I love sports, so this day was really fun. You might be wondering what information I learned that first day. So here's a crash course on tennis form. First, you should be in ready position with both hands on the handle and always stay light on your feet. There's different grips, but in general, you want to hold the racket perpendicular to the actual handle. Plant your opposite foot forward before you hit the ball and swing your racket back in preparation. Follow the ball with your left hand, keep your eyes on the ball. Accelerate and hit the ball slightly in front of you by bringing your shoulder forward so that your entire body naturally follows in a spin motion. Continue to follow through with the racket so you have maximum power. My forehand, backhand, and serves, as you can see here, were just all over the place. They were wrong before this lesson, but even this one lesson was helpful for me because at least now I have a roadmap for me to follow. It's only day two and I can make sure that I'm not doing the wrong thing for any days. Blisters, ooh. I feel like every challenge I do, I end up getting blisters on my hand, but this one's early. For the next week, I found a tennis wall nearby that I could practice on. Let's do some math. When I'm practicing with friends or with my coach in a full court game, the total amount of times I hit the ball in one minute on average was about 24 times. But with the use of a wall, I was hitting the ball on average 40 times per minute, getting in almost twice as many hits in the same time period. This exercise might not be necessarily 100% applicable to real life situations, but it was a great exercise for me to dissect this skill, focusing in on just the form in the beginning stage when I'm literally just trying to get it into muscle memory. Bye -bye. I think that's enough for today. This wall is a workout. This month I've been doing weekly tennis lessons and a few practice sessions with friends every week. My form was getting better little by little. However, there is still one problem. So I'm noticing my swing is getting better, but I feel like a lot of my swings are going out and I'm not really sure how to control that power. I'll probably ask this to my coach next time I see him. Good thing I did. This time around, my coach taught me about topspin. Topspin happens when a player rotates his or her racket in the air, kind of in an arc motion after they hit the ball. By doing this, it creates this downward motion in the ball, which forces the ball to drop. This, this day here was a game changer in my abilities. I do you think a part of me has dug up some muscle memory at this point that I had from my elementary school days? This is a little bit of a turning point for me. I could feel that my playing was improving pretty quickly and the balls that I were hitting were staying in, which is always a good thing.
but good things don't always last long. The next day I went to play and my wrist started hurting real bad. You can't really tell from this footage, but I was literally kind of dying that day. At this point, I was just ignoring it because it wasn't too serious, but tennis is just a repetition drill sport. In my next lesson, we just repeat the same thing over and over and over again and try to get it down into muscle memory. So my wrist has been hurting. It's nothing really serious, but it does kind of hurt down my arm. So I think I'm just gonna rest it for a few days. One reason might be that I'm overworking my arm. The second would be that I'm still not utilizing correct form in tennis. So I think that I should be using my shoulder more to generate the power in the swing rather than my wrist. Plan going forward is to heal quickly and also make that change in my tennis swing. The great thing about 30 day challenges is that it forces me to push myself in a condensed time period but the bad thing about 30 day challenges is that if I hurt myself in any way it's like there goes 25% of my practice time. Despite the injuries this month has been one of my favorite learning challenges I've done so far. Thankfully I have a lot of friends who play tennis in this area and I got to play a good mix of skills and styles throughout. Tennis is a great social distance sport and I personally like sports because I feel like it's a great way to get a workout in, you feel like you've accomplished something that day and you also get to hang out with your friends. Yes I was trying to improve but I didn't forget Get to goof around too. This is a serious match. Are y'all seriously eating a banana? Yeah. <laughs> Can you do a little dance for me? <laughs> Over the entire month, I could feel not only my abilities improve, but also my confidence. And this became one of my most favorite parts of the day. I would say my arm is like 85% healed, but I don't want to delay this any longer. So we will be doing the final match today. Stay tuned. These are the people who are going to be helping me today. Hi, I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Sophie. <laughs> Let's go. Begin. My swing has gotten significantly better and even my footwork improved as well. I was definitely still hitting balls into the net and others with too much power, but the number of times this was happening was less than 50% of what I was starting off with. I'm able to hit back faster shots and even play some of my own shots on the court. So the biggest improvement in this month's skill is something I can't necessarily show on the screen. It was my confidence levels. On day one, even for the shots that I managed to get over the net, I had no sense of control of what I was doing and frankly, just being on the court and holding a racket felt awkward. But now, a month later, I'm able to more confidently play a game of tennis without this fear or constantly thinking about what to do. I'm actually enjoying the game. I'm no Nadal, no Federer. That comes with years and years and years of practice, not just 30 days. But once again, I think this month shows just how much a few lessons and focused practice can do for a skill within just one month. No, that was really impressive. Thank you. How'd she do? Pretty good. <laughs> How'd I do, y'all? Overall, I would deem this a pretty successful month. It was really fun digging back into muscle memory and also playing sports after such a long time. Tennis is an amazing sport to pick up, and I've only scratched the surface of all the things that I want to learn about in tennis. There's also volleys, there's overheads, there's proper serving technique. I haven't done this before with any other skill on this channel, but I'm thinking of doing another one of these for tennis. Maybe part two? Hmm. I think it'd be really interesting to see if I could hopefully improve more from here. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for this challenge. Leave a like if you enjoyed and let's go ahead and bring Mr. Clipboard out. If you wanna see any of my past learning challenges, then go check out this video here. If you wanna stay up to date to whatever I'm learning next, then go ahead and subscribe below. Thanks for watching, bye. Did you see that? Huh? Huh?